In 2013, then-German Chancellor Angela Merkel was at an outdoor event when a drone that had been hovering overhead abruptly landed near her, briefly disrupting the event. Nothing happened. It was an attention-getting drone. But the incident raised security concerns about the presence of drones in potentially vulnerable areas just as the use of unmanned aerial vehicles was taking off. The case inspired the creation of D-Drone, now a leading counter-drone technology company that has hundreds of customers in more than 35 countries. We detect the drone primarily through radio frequency signals that are recognized by our sensors. D-Drone's customers install drone tracking software that will alert security personnel when a suspicious drone is in their airspace. If a drone is deemed malicious, the D-Drone tracker can help security personnel locate the drone operator and speak with them directly. In extreme situations such as war, customers can disable the drone directly with a jammer gun. It's called Drone Defender and uh, it is a radio transmitter and when we have found the, our drone in the airspace, we point it at it, select the mode, pull the trigger and now we can disrupt the signal between the drone and the controller. The counter-drone technology industry has grown alongside the commercial drone industry, experts say. We need the counter-drone technology protecting sensitive sites in order for the commercial drone industry to proliferate. As drone use continues to grow, so too will efforts to protect spaces that are vulnerable to the few bad actors in their midst. Julie Tabo. VOA News, Sterling, Virginia.